Hey friends, Will P. Kickstart here. I'll come to you with a bit of advice. Because as you know, I'm going to let you know these things because one day, I won't be here. You won't be here. James Brown and you're already here. We're all dying, we're retiring. Elton John, he's going on permanent holiday. Could be going to Cambodia. Could be going to Iceland. Could be going to Greenland. Anyway, i got to tell you a tip that applies to all us stars. You've got to know this for your stagecraft. And this is, yes, friends, we all suffer. Body odor. Body odor. Look at that. Look at that. I'll be my machine. So I know for a fact you've all probably had some sort of an uncomfortable feeling after stepping off stage after half a dozen encores, a couple of bows, crowd surfing, you come back down, and for some reason, all your friends, the backstage pass people, the press, the groupies, the hangers on, they're not so keen to get their money's worth. Why? Body odor. Body odor. So, it's even worse because your road crew, they kind of get pally with you. That's weird. Just play weird. Why? Because you're like one of them. A smelly, despicable object. Now, it happens to all the stars. Smiley Virus, Petty Carey, you name it. Even, even Michael Staxon. Why? He came to me one day, he said, Will, Will, I got a problem. I'm going on tour with that weird guy, Vincent Price. He told me backstage after we were rehearsing for the videos, he told me I stank. I don't stink, I'm good. I said to him, Michael, you better take your sign. Give me a call in a couple of days. I'll make some time to share with you what I know about stagecraft. So I did, he rings me up, middle of the night, he's talking his time. He sends for Air Force One somehow. And I'm picked up off of the tarmac somewhere at Boomerang, because that's where I live. And then he takes me to this theme park that he lives in, Nouveland or whatever it is. And there he is, on top of the biggest ride you ever saw, doing a backward shuffle of two park and a pirouette. And he sees me and he says, Wailer, I need you. I came down. He did a couple of cartwheels, slid down the escalator, and landed at my side. I says, Michael, you got a problem. I know what it is. He didn't really want to admit it. He wasn't completely out of the closet about where his juices and lubricants were all going. They were all in the wrong place. I said, Michael, two tips I can share with you. After years of performing on stage. One, never, never, never wear tight underwear. Two, use some sort of industrial strength, military grade, in fact, product. Now, at that time, I'd just been relating to some of the big manufacturers, the leading manufacturers of these products. And we came up with my own formulation. Bagalux 1080. Bagalux 1080. So I said to Michael, he says, all you gotta do is basically apply this stuff, one little bit here, one little bit there, and anywhere that you happen to have other problems with, like lint, fluff, and various clefts in your body, It'll do the lot. Bag of Lux 1080. So friends, for jocks that are ventilated, it's Bag of Lux 1080. Only at your pharmacist.